What's up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all shapes and sizes. My name is Almighty123 and welcome back to Life is Strange. This is episode 2 of The Dark Room, or episode 12. I hope you guys are enjoying this and the last episode ended on a hell of a bad note. Or a sad note, or a very, very big question. Do we save Chloe? So, I've made up my mind. Let's go. I'm going to refuse. Chloe. I couldn't I do that. I can't. It wrecks me to see you in any pain, but I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. But Joyce and William, I already said my goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. You will, right? I, I can't kill you with an overdose. Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. No. I am going to help you, but not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. Mm. Why, Max? You're just bailing on me like everybody else. No. Why don't you go now? Uh, You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go <sighs> and don't come back. Chloe, I am never leaving you again. Uh, please let me change this. I'm sorry, Will. There we go. There we go again. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college bond? Jesus. Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Bye, William. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like, you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. Just right here. Right here, man. Step douches back, though. Mm.
down, Max. You get one kiss, now you're all over me. I'm just. <laughs> I'm just I forgot so about that. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Hmm. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Ugh. Welcome back to the real world, Max. Right, let's get up. All right, we're back. We're back. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. All right, cool. Examine. So close yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. All right. Um, what things? Yeah. One, decipher Frank's logbook. Okay. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. Mm, good luck with that. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Mm. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Dark Room. And I do have a gun now. Keep it in your pants. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. Yep. At least you let me take that money to pay Frank off. <sighs> Don't remind me. I just want him off your back. Our back. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. Hmm. Give the cyberstock some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. He's not going to be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. Everybody lies, no exceptions. I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. Think like a man. It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate the present without messing. Okay, I gotcha. Don't do stupid shit. Hmm. Bathroom. Whoop. H1Z1 finished downloading. Okay, cool. Looks like whose door is this? Since David might be in there. I better mosey along for a change. <laughs> yeah, let's not go in there. That would be weird. Walking in on David. That'd be super duper weird. Oh no, that's him right there. Hi. Set breath. You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David. I didn't try to hurt you, ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. Room. Oh, shit. Hmm. This is weird. This is weird. Okay. Oh, he's not gonna have all his stuff in here now. It looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Maybe, but probably not. Hey, Warren sent me a text message. Hey, Warren. I wish I could have helped you, but I thought I was blinded by science. In this case, yes, my folks will shit. Will shit. Yo, yo, Max, your friend Chloe texted me. That I'm out of the loop now. She sounds hot. So I get why. <laughs> Chloe actually texted you. <laughs> I sure didn't have her number. At least I still get to go ape with you. Unless you want to chill with Chloe. Or we could all go. One pain in the ass is enough. Cool. After Jet. TTYL. Ta-ta for now. I got a text message from everybody, yo. Just having my number... Uh, so, uh, hey, honey, I just got a weird text message warning me that my nosy daughter better stop watching others and look out for herself. Some kind of school prank? Oh, I'm sorry, some jackass in my class thought it would be funny to send. It's not. I don't like strangers having my number. Me neither. Sorry. Just being a dad, blah, blah, blah. Freaking idiots. Why are you doing your own investigation without my help? No, I'm just bored. Talk to you soon. Okay, we keep secrets 
from Ace Reporter Juliet Watson. Hello. Okay. Thanks. Who's Justin? I don't remember Justin. Do you know Frank Bowers? Drugs. That's it. That's Nathan. He knows who I think. Okay, I'm on it. Thanks, Justin. For what? <laughs> Kate! Hey, there's Kate. Uh... Hey, Kate, I'm glad you're okay. I was just doing a promise. Max, how are you? I hope you still visit this week. Important things to talk about. Of course, I'm still coming to visit you. You can't stop me. I miss you. And my bunny. Oh, that was her bunny. That's right. Okay. Um, and your bunny misses you. Yay. We're such great friends. Thank you so much. Can't wait to see you. XO, 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 Maxo. XO, Maxo. Ma'am. Did they text you too? Better not. Thank you for letting me gush all over Blackwell here. I miss your voice. Proud of you, the stupid mom. Blah, blah. Max, what the heck is going on? The weather up there? Doing military tests or something? You're right in the eye of the storm. Yes, I even killed my plant, Lisa. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, sweetie. Get another. One plant was stressful enough. Next pack of the book. Talk to you. Yeah, Victoria. Hi, whore. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the yeah, pick is your last one. I thought you might be ready for the Vortex Club, but after the shit you pulled with Jefferson, no fucking way. You're such an emo queen. He didn't want anybody going to with him to SF. You're even too much of a pussy to enter your cliche selfies in one dumb contest. It's all about Max. Even going to the roof was about showing off, not even about saving Kate. I'm going to make sure Nobody at Blackwell is fooled by you. Woe is Max. Act. Get ready. Ooh. You gonna threaten me? You gonna threaten me? You don't know me? I'm frickin' almighty one. 23. I promise I'll help Miss Grant next time. As, as per discussion with the surveillance system, Miss Grant has informed me that her petition was only one avenue of protest while the Institute narrowed Blackwell to find a middle ground between safety and privacy in our students. Oh, now, Miss Grant. I didn't, Twist that need a I didn't need a surveillance camera to see this suspension coming. <laughs> At least he has one weird fan. Dear Mr. Manson, I just wanted to let you know I think it's bullshit what happened to you at this school and too many libtard metrosexuals who don't appreciate you or the military. I felt safe in my dorm when you were in charge. I thought about your about you protecting me. I thought, I hope you will come back to Blackwell and make sure you're safe at night. Wish I had surveillance footage of that conversation. I apologize for my outburst yesterday in your office. I was upset about losing my position at Blackwell without a complete investigation of the facts and based solely on the claims of untrustworthy students. There's a cancer at Blackwell Academy and without me, it will continue to spread. Your, your, your tool is what you are. A map. Is that a map? Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts, too. What? This is nuts. There's some shit going on there, dude. William's stuff. Pfft. My oh, stuff now. Makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could, too. Oh, wait. William is... Never mind. I'm sorry. William is the dad that died. Not douche nozzle. Gun rack. He left all his guns here. Either Chloe stole another gun, or David is out there armed. Oh, oh no. Oh no, that's not good. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? Mr. Madsen, thank you for your help with Nathan. It is appreciated. Best Sean Prescott. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, so he's in he's involved with the Prescotts also. Flyers. I wonder if David is going to the party. Okay. Nathan Prescott. Oh, I'm sorry. I just bumped my mic. Nathan Prescott, Vortex Parties, gun, got fired. Something's up. Okay, this is not good. This is not good at all. Anything here? The door there. Locker. Look. What? Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? What you hiding there, buddy? Hmm. Hmm, I don't know. For once, I don't have time to search for the code. 
Oh, and I need to find a way to break this padlock. Um, tools, crowbar. Thank you. Okay, I can use that crowbar to pry open the locker. Yep. I mean, just really quick. Let's just look in here really quick. Oh, jeez. David is packing up wedding stuff too. I mean, that's fine. Look, okay, the guy's an asshole. Oh, what's this? There's more to David Madsen than meets the eye. Okay. <clears throat> he should finish this letter to Joyce. Wow, I'm just gonna read somebody's personal shit. Joyce. You know I'm not good at explaining myself and why I act the way I do sometimes. I only know that nobody has ever understood me the way you do. I would never do anything to hurt you or Chloe. Taking care of my family is my number one mission. Yes, I overstepped bounds with the surveillance and suspicion, and I'm truly sorry and ashamed. But there are dark things ahead in Arcadia Bay. I have never told you. You are my wife and partner. And I know we should have no secrets. I intend to tell you everything, but I intend... I wanted more proof instead. A student's almost committed suicide on my watch. You kicked me out of my favorite home, and my stepdaughter hates me. Please let me... He knows something. He knows something. What does he know? I feel like we should be able to find this code somewhere. I don't want to... I don't want to break it, but I mean, I don't think we have much of a choice, so... Grubbar! Sorry, David, but I bet you would do the same thing as me. Oh, what's this? Oh, maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. What is all this? This is just freaking weird. Twin Peaks took pictures of Nathan beating up. Why? Pictures of the truck. Pay up? What? What is this shit? Score. Back to Chloe now. Alright, let's go. Oh, can I, uh... Because I'm nice, I'm gonna fix that. It's amazing how much drama this living room has seen. You are the only person that knows Yo, that. Chloe! Oh. Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Yep. Are we happy? Yeah. Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. Yeah. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. I want to find out how she's doing. Yep. Let's go to the hospital today. Ooh. Man, I still have a cold, apparently. Oops, excuse me. This is definitely Kate's floor. <clears throat> Sorry about that. The hospitals always freak me out. I, I hear you. You have no idea. How Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. Right. This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be your friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you ignored me. Yeah. I had no idea what shit she was going through. And you saved her. That's right. Like me. I'm sorry. Thanks, Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. Oh yes. <laughs> I'm on it. Oh, 
Oh, looks like she's drawing. That she needs a new hairdo though. Like for cereal. Max. Oh, Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate, no. listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Mm, look the same. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate. There are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. Wow. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. I'm keeping the balloons, though. One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawing. Oh, nice. I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while. But I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there, too. Good job. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Matt. <laughs> I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. Yeah. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel and Mr. Jefferson... Even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. What's going on in the picture in the I background? I she was being real. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just pray I can get this drawing right. Okay, I, I got it. This picture is ridiculous. <laughs> it's a bottle of mustard that looks like it's, it's pooping itself onto this hot dog who is really enjoying this. Um, let's look at some stuff here. Principal Wells knows how to step it up when he wants to. Dear Kate, I just want to express my deepest wishes for your speedy recovery in the Blackwell Academy is united in prayer for your return. Students and faculty have organized a rally in your honor and have never seen such outpouring of academic and community support from any student in our history. I know my words may mean little given your circumstances, but it's important you know that we do care. If you need any assistance at all, please do not hesitate to ask. Principal Ray Wells. I don't like the principal. Does anybody else like the principal? That is so sweet. Even Victoria signed. Wow. We love you, Kate. But not Nathan. Your hearts and thoughts. We love you, Kate. Blackwell Academy. Oh, that's nice. Victoria Chase might be queen bitch, but... She's not evil. Kate, I know you hate me, and you should, but I only want to see you smile again. Please let me know if you need anything. XO Vic. Well, that was sweet of her. Oh, I did something. Uh, speak. Kate, it is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. I do. I want to talk to you about Victoria. I saw Victoria's letter. How does that make you feel? Max, I know Victoria can be a, uh, not nice, but I do believe in forgiveness and redemption. Well put. I might be naive, but I feel her struggle. Mm. I wasn't so nice to her this week either when I took a picture of her covered in paint. Yeah, but it was uh, funny. Not a proud moment. We all have our moments. Why do you think she acts so mean? Insecurity. That's what I think. She's insecure. If you're comfortable with yourself, you don't need to act superior. Victoria doesn't look like she has much to be insecure about. If anybody could make Victoria see the light, it would be Kate Marsh. No. I think it will take more than that, Max. Hmm. Uh, let's talk about Nathan. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. You're damn right. 
And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. You're damn right. I wish I could have gotten his ass kicked out of black. Good luck. Me too. But his dad would never let that happen. I thought I had a tough family. So what is going on with him now? Mm, Vortex Club. I assume he'll show up at the Vortex Club party tonight like nothing happened. And nobody can do anything to him after what he did. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number, and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Yes. Kate. I can't do this without you. Thank you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. Damn straight. I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. That was so not cool. We need to plan, like, a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, yes. And you could bring Warren along, too. <laughs> what do you think of uh, Warren? Oh, smart and silly. He's got such a good heart. And he's a cutie pie. I love it. You know he likes you. I don't know. No, he doesn't. I'm going to the drive in with him, so <laughs> we'll see. With everything that's going on, it, a date seems weird. Huh? No. You deserve that. Yeah. Kate Marsh, matchmaker. I'm glad somebody is looking out for my love life. Even angels need angels, Max. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Yeah. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Tell Alice I'll see her soon. It's a bunny. It's not gonna... Can we pop a balloon? No, that'd be funny. <laughs> we were just like... Fuck you. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Alright. Oh, hi. Well, how is she? She's good. She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. We got some Thanks info. for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. You damn straight! That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. All right, that's going to be the end of this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This is uh, Life is Strange episode four, Dark Room. Uh, it was chapter four, episode two. I don't know. I, I'm just going to say this is the next episode because it's getting to the point where it's like four, three, seven, subtract two, and it's just getting too complicated for me. So, yeah, thank you all so much for watching this video. It's been an absolute blast, as usual. We're finally getting some answers. We're getting somewhere. We're getting close to the end of this game, but it is like, mm, it's good. It's really good. And I hope you all are enjoying it too. Be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, as always, just be awesome. I'll see you guys later. Bye.